Greetings, physics fans. Uh, let's find the force on charge A. So here's charge A. Um, charge A is going to be repelled by C. So there's going to be a force like that. Right? That's the force of C on A. Um, it's also going to be attracted to B, right? Because it's positive and B is negative. So there's going to be a force like this. And that's the force of B on A. Um, now this angle right here, this is a, um, if I draw this straight over, that's a 45 degree angle. And that's because what C is over to and down to, so it's symmetrical. Uh, this angle here, if we figure this angle out, that's bigger than 45. That's up to and, uh, and over one, right? So that's, uh, that angle is 10 minus one of the opposite over the adjacent side, right? So that angle is uh, tan minus one, the inverse tangent of two over one, right? Let's figure that out. First, I'm gonna check my calculator. I am in degrees, okay. Uh, second tan of two. That's 63.43 degrees. So that's this angle right there is 63.43 degrees, okay. And that'll be important later because we'll have to break this into components. Um, okay, so now let's find the force of B on A, just the magnitude, right? And that's gonna be K, Q, Q over R squared, right? So that's 8.99 E9 meter squared per coulomb squared, right? And then let's see, B is uh, 210. I'm gonna ignore the minus sign because I've already figured out the direction that the force is gonna be, right? So I'm ignoring it in this part. So 210, E minus six, right? And then let's see, A, A is 160. All right, and then that is divided by, and then the distance to B, we're going from A to B is, uh, it's one square root of one squared plus two squared, right? And then of course the radius is squared. So the square of course gets rid of the exterior square root thing, right? Okay, so I'm gonna go alpha F1 on my calculator, hit enter, 8.99 E9 times 10, E minus six times 160 E minus six over one squared plus two squared. I could just put a five down there, but I didn't. All right, eight, eight point nine nine E nine, 210 E minus six, 160 E minus six. Okay, are we ready for this? I'm gonna hit enter, 60.4128. Okay, now that is up and right. Up and right. Okay, at 63.43 degrees above the x-axis, right? All right, I'm ready to go. So let's find the force of C on A. That is, of course, going to be 8.99 E9. And where's C? C is 630, right? So C is uh, 630. And then, uh, let's see, A is 160. Whoops, that's not minus ninth, that's minus sixth. E minus sixth. <laughs> it's not nano coulombs, it's micro coulombs. Okay, here we go. Can't space out too much. Okay. And then the distance from A to C is uh, two over two down, right? So it's going to be two squared plus two squared. That's the same as this, right? It really, there's a square root and then I'm squaring the square root. Okay, so I'm going to grab the same expression I just used on my calculator. Whoops. <laughs> and I hit it there. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to go down there and change that to 2 and 2 squared. And then I need to change to 630. 
Okay, do I have it all correct? I think I've got everything in the right place. So this is 113.274, and this is left and up, right? It's left and up at 45 degrees above the x-axis. And I always find the angle with the x-axis. It's just my habit. I've done enough of these. I'm just, I've got a habit. I've got a habit to me, right? All right. Okay, so now we've got to divide our space here, right? So let's break this guy into components. We've got F, B, A. We've got F, C, A. We've got the sum. All right, so let's go. And let's go. And let's go. And then we'll, we'll do the uh, X component here. Let's do the Y component here. Oh, this is so exciting. I love making like little tables like this. This makes me so happy. Okay, so 60.4128, that's this guy, right? Um, and it's up and right. So the um, if we draw these little components here, right? Here is the x component, here's the y component of that. Uh, the x is the cosine, so I'm going to go 60.4128 cos of 63.43. Okay, and that's going to be positive. It's going to be positive in the x direction because it's to the right. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to find that number, 60 point that cos grab that angle there it is all right and I've got it here okay so 27.017 positive 27.017 newtons in the x direction because the force would be to the right this this component this vector is to the right it's also up okay so this is going to be 60.4128 that's the the uh, magnitude of it, right, times the sine, because this is the opposite side, right, opposite adjacent, sine of 63.43. Okay, so I'm just going to grab the expression I just did, Ooh, uh, left, and change this coast to a sine, 54.035, basically, I'm rounding here, zero, Five. And that's also positive, and that's Newton's in the y direction. Okay, okay. Now we're going to find FCA. So the, the uh, let's draw the components for this guy. This guy goes left and then up. So this component at the end of the day will be negative. This component here will be positive. Okay, so this is 113.274. And then this x component is the cos of 45. All right, so let's find that. There's 113 times cos 45. And of course, the sine of 45 is exactly the same thing. So this component is positive or negative 80.097. Roughly, Newton's in the x direction. And then this is, of course, 80 positive 80.097 newtons in the y direction. Now we just have to add these guys together. So let's go this guy minus, oops, sorry, minus this guy. This is negative 53.079. Okay, and then let's add these guys up. So let's go. 54.035 plus the 81. And I'm just going, basically going up arrow with my calculator there, and I'm getting positive 134.132 roughly newtons in the y direction. Okay, so now I have to draw this. This thing is to the left and up. It's a lot more up than it is to the left, so let's draw a picture of this. And there it is.
that might be an exaggeration of how far up it is. It's more than twice though, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's about right. It's hard to draw that diagonal line. Okay, so I'm gonna find this angle just obligatorily. This side here is 134.132. This side is negative 53.079. Uh, that angle there is uh, tan minus 1 of the opposite side, which would be this, 134.132 over 53.079. All right, so second tan of that guy divided by this guy. And I've got 68.4 degrees. Oh, I got the right angle. 68.4100609. So 68.4 degrees is this angle, right? And then the magnitude, the magnitude of this is uh, 53.079 squared. Don't put your minus in there. If you have a TI calculator, it'll mess you up. Especially in the case where the minus is like uh, smaller, right, you'll get a number smaller than uh, 134. This has got to be squared too. So I'm going to go square root of, and then I'm going to get the 134 guy squared plus. And now I have to put this in parentheses. I put this this thing in parentheses, the negative 53 in parentheses, and then square, and then it's okay. Okay, 144.25 uh, Newtons. Okay, so it's up and left, left and up at 68.4 degrees above the x-axis. Ta-da! Yeah.